Welcome to Lizzie You Snippets. I'm Merle Breinholt, and I'm going to show you how to even out your backing fabric and your leaders if we have a drooping side. If we look at the fabric here, we can see on the far side that it's very smooth. This side we have a drooping side. Now I know that I've squared up my backing and it is still drooping. A lot of times that's because our leaders have been uh, tighter on one side than the other, maybe because I've been quilting on small quilts and then I've gone to a larger quilt, so it's not equally taut. I'll show you how to fix that. I look at the quilt, I notice that this has all the fabric on it, so I'm going to disengage it. But I'm keeping my hand on it so that I have some tension against it. I will keep this one engaged so some tension will be left on the take-up rail. I'm going to use the hand wheel to roll all the fabric onto the take-up rail. And also, I'm going to roll the leader out because the leader is usually the culprit. We need to make it equally taut. Now I'm going to engage the front and disengage the back rail. Remember, I'm keeping my hand on it to keep tension on it, and I'm going to roll it all the way back until we're at the position we want. Can you see how it's already improved a great deal? Now sometimes you need to go through this process two or three times. Looks like we only need to do it once today. It's kind of a surprise to think that our leaders might not be equally taut when we've been using them for years. And there you have it. I will engage this one so it doesn't slip. And we're ready to quilt. So that's how you even out your backing and your leaders when you have a drooping side. Thank you for joining us here at Tin Lizzie 18, where we're committed to helping quilters at all levels realize their quilting dreams. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Check out our calendar regularly for upcoming webinars, new videos, and classes. Happy quilting!